Hello world and welcome. Today we are going to talk about deep reinforcement learning, especially DQNs, so deep Q networks. Uh, I'm using today a card pool as an environment to train uh, the agent so far that he is able to take the award of 200 and final finalize his um, environment and his aim in this environment. My name is Harris and yeah, let's get started. So for more tutorials, hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there to stay tuned. To just tell you uh, something about deep reinforcement learning. So as you know, a normal agent here on this picture, you can see on the very left, on the right side, you can see the environment where he is in. And if he's doing some good states, or some good action, he's receiving, of course, a reward for this. He's taking observation all the time to just check his state, if he's on the right or wrong track, and where he's going, for instance, in a maze. Uh, and then for this, after finalizing some environment, he's receiving rewards or during this as well. Uh, DQNs are so far really good because you just don't have an arbitrary agent that is training after a while, maybe takes hours or days to train the environment and to fa finalize it finally. Um, DQNs, as you can see here, are using um, neural nets to train the agent to receive really good awards. So um, to just start here, we are importing OpenAI's gym, where you have a lot of uh, environments. I took here, um, I chose the card pole environment, where you can see here, there are three actions and uh, four states, which can be um, applied here. So if you start the environment and the card pole game, you can just see here that he's basically have a lot of problems. He's just, after only 10 episodes, he received a score around about 20 or 30, which is okay, but um, he's not reaching his final goal, right? So for this, you need to um, learn a model to create a model with TensorFlow Keras, Keras RL. And I set up here a just normal model um, with only two uh, 700 parameters. So it's pretty fine for this model. You can re really reach the 200 for goal. So um, the 200 um, rewards in this case, I'm building the agent here and the neural net, and I'm taking the DQN agent, the Boltzmann policy, because he needs to train also his policy. This is um, something that he really needs to know. And this kind of some, you can imagine policies, something like a rule um, where he can, you know, just learn after a while to just receive the max reward here. So I'm training the TQN agent here. I'm um, choosing the model above, the memory, the policy and so on. And I'm setting up and building the agent. I'm compiling everything with uh, Adam optimizer and training him only with uh, 50,000 steps. And after this, you can really see so you know the agent before. Now, if you are studying the DQN agent, so after he was learning with the neural net to get better and better, you can really see that after only 10 epochs, you can really test his abilities and you can see he's reaching really the 200 steps, which is really nice in this case. So this is something really good. So he's getting a real expert pretty fast. Uh, which is real nice in this case. And yeah, so this basically is, this is the power of DQNs, which you can really apply in daily life. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned and see you soon. Bye-bye.